Good day and welcome to another day of mathematics for grade 2. Today we are going to be looking at the work for week 3, day 4, which is repeated edition part 3. If you have any inquiries, please feel free to contact me via email at teacherarusha at gmail.com. The counting activity for today, please count from 1 to 100 and back, counting 2s to 100 and back, counting 5s to 100 and back, counting 10s to 100 and back. Please make use of this page as the children are busy with their counting activity. Please pause. For mental maths, yet again, please only allocate one minute. Today we are going to answer two questions and then do four sums of each of the number bonds from six and seven. The goal and aim for today's video is to multiply numbers from one to ten by two and five and to use appropriate symbols, which is the plus, the multiplication, equals, and then the question mark. So, we already did the 2 times table and the 5 times table. Please make sure you have this on hand and write it out a few times. This is only to your benefit. So, if we say 2 plus 2 equals 4, we can say we have 2 apples plus another 2 apples equals 4 apples. So, I have 1 and 2 groups of apples and in each group I have 2. So two apples in each group. So I have one group of two and two groups of two. So what I can say is two groups times two in a group. Remember with how we work with multiplication, we say how many groups and how many are in a group. So we can say two times two equals four. So two groups of two equals four. So I have two groups and I have two in a group. So here's my two apple trees. Remember how we did this yesterday? Two groups and two in each group. So that I have two, four, four apples. Now let's do two plus two plus two equals six. So I have two plus two plus two equals six. How many groups do I have? I have one, two, three groups. And in each group I have two apples. Therefore I can say three groups times Two in a group equals six. So three, three groups, and in each group there is two. Three times two equals six. So I have three groups and two are in a group. Therefore, I can say one, two, three trees. Two, four, six. Three groups of two is six. Two plus two plus two plus two equals eight. So I have two apples and another two apples and another two apples and another two apples that give me eight apples altogether. So I have four groups of apples and in each group I have two. You can see in each group there is two. So four times two equals eight. Two plus two plus two plus two plus two, plus two equals ten. So how many groups of two do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five groups of two, and in each group I have two. So therefore I can say five times two equals ten. Five times two equals ten. Here's my five apple trees, and in each apple tree there is two apples, so it's two, four, six, eight, ten. Five times two equals ten. Now I have 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 12. That's a lot of pluses. So instead of saying 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, we can just say I have how many groups of 2? I have 6 groups of 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 groups of 2. And we know it's 2 in a group, so therefore we can say 6 groups of 2 is 12. Let's test it. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 groups of apple trees. And each apple tree has two apples on it. So it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Therefore, 6 times 2 equals 12. Now it's getting longer. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 14. It's so long to write out. So instead, we can say I have 7 groups of 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 groups of 2 equals 14. Here's my seven apple trees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven apple trees. Each of them has two apples. So let's count. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Therefore, seven times two equals fourteen is correct. Now I have 
2 plus 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 2 equals 16. That's a lot of twos. That's in fact eight twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight twos, eight groups of two. Give me 16. Let's see. I have eight apple trees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight apple trees. Each apple tree has two apples. Therefore, we can count in twos again. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Eight times two equals sixteen. Now I have nine twos here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine twos, which gives me eighteen. Or I can say I have nine groups of two, it gives me eighteen. Let's count with our apple trees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine apple trees. Let's count in twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, 18. So 9 groups of 2 give me 18. Here I have 10 groups of 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 groups of 2 gives me 20. So I have 10 groups times 2 equals 20. Let's do it with our apple trees. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's count in twos. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So 10 groups of 2 give me 20. Now let's start doing with the fives. Let's see if it's also true. We can test it. So I have 5 pet petals on a flower and another 5 petals on a flower. So altogether I have 10 petals 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 petals so therefore i can say I have two groups of five two groups of five equals ten three groups of five so three so three times five adding five five plus five plus five equals fifteen i can say I have three groups of five one two three times 5 in each group gives me 15. So let's see, I have 1, 2, 3 flowers. Let's count in 5s. 5, 10, 15. So it's true. 3 times 5 equals 15. Now I have 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 equals 20. So that's 4 fives. So I have 4 groups of 5 equals 20. Here's my flowers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we test it by counting in 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20. So 4 times 5 is 20. Here I have 5 fives. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 fives equals 25. So I have 5 groups of 5 equals 25. So instead of adding each time, we just make use of our multiplication table. So remember how many groups I have. I have five groups, and in each group there is five. They five twenty-five. Let's test it. I want five groups. I want five flowers. One, two, three, four, five. And in each flower, I want five petals. Each flower has five petals. So now we can count in fives: five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. So five times five equals twenty-five. Here I have six fives, one, two, three, four, five, six. So instead of adding five plus five plus five, six times to get to 30, we can say I have six groups of five. So I have six groups, and in each group I have five equals 30. So I want six flowers, one, two, three, four, five, six. And each flower has five petals, so we can count in fives, five, ten, 15, 20, 25, 30. So I have 30. So 6 groups of 5 is 30. Now I have 7 5s. See, it's getting long again. <laughs> 7 5s give me 35. So 7 groups of 5 in a group gives me 35. So I want 7 flowers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 flowers. Each flower has 5 petals, so we can count in 5s. 5. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So it's true. Yeah, I have 8 fives. Do you see 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5? 
that's why I'm so tired now. <laughs> we can say we have eight groups of five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight groups of five in a group equals 40. How do we test it? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight flowers. And each flower has five petals. So we can say five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So eight times five equals 40. Here I have nine fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine fives, they say five plus five plus five plus five plus five gives me 45. So what we can do is we can say I have nine groups and in each group I have five means I have 45. So let's test it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine flowers, so we can count in five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. So it's so much easier than counting, saying 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. It's so much easier saying 9 times 5 equals 45 and counting in 5s than it would be to add all of them and counting them individually. Here I have 10 5, so 10 groups of 5 equals 50. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 groups of 5 in a group gives me 50 altogether. So now I want 10 flowers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we can count in 5s because we don't want to add, we want to multiply. So we say 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So we can gather from today's lesson that multiplying is counting in the increments of 5. So if I say 1 times 2, I just count 1 times 2. So it's 2. If I say 2 times 2, I can say 2, 4. So then you add along the line. Thank you so much for coming. I'm very excited to do this with all of you again in class and see who remembers. Start studying up on your 2 times and 5 times table and then we'll see each other again soon. Bye!